Hello YouTube and welcome to the dojo, you're here with Samurai Man, and today we have the Power Rangers Super Sentai Resha Sentai Tokyuger Safari Gao, oh, or Gao, I think it was Gao, but I'm pretty sure it's Gao. Either way, it's a very nice Resha set from the movie, it's the movie Resha, or movie mech that we get. And it's a whole mech, it's not just a piece, so that's cool. And it's basically just a retooling of the main five, but they did a pretty good job of it, I like it, I like what they're going here. This is an animalistic style train. And it's very well done. I'll show you what's different. I'll show you what's the same and all that good stuff. Just want to show off, you know, it's very white, as you can see. They went for a very holy and angelic look. White, blue, and gold was the main theme colors for these guys. There's a lot of other colors to break it up, but that's really what you're getting out of it. And we'll go ahead and take a look at them individually just so you can get an idea of what's going on here. So to start off, we have the Wildcat Resha. This is the pink Reshas, or the pink, or let me think. I gotta think by the side it's on. Yeah, so this is the pink Reshas new safari mech and it's very nicely done i like the pink i like the blue they go well together the gold up here very nice done it's just the repaint, paint really so this is just gold white pink and blue now i love the blue i really like this blue that's going along all this molding and everything they chose a very nice blue to go with everything definitely pops well with the gold and the white i really think this works if you come around to the if you come around to the front you can see here we have the wildcat face and it's just basically they painted the headlights gold and then they cut off, instead of making this heart here, you can see they cut it off and made it like ears. And I know a lot of people didn't care for this much just because it wasn't that much of a difference, but uh, it works for me. I don't know why. I think this is enough different to where I like it. I see the Wildcat. I see what they're going for. It is basic. It's very simple. But I don't mind it too much. I can appreciate it. So that's very nice. You can split it up as usual. The huge. You can do this thing, you know. Whee! Kind of makes me more of a cat now. Now it's like, you know, it's kind of lounging about, you know. I don't know. I'm playing with my toys. But there you go. Wild cat. I don't know. It makes me think of Wild Force. Wild Force. Wild Force. Power Ranger. Wild Force. Yeah. Anyways, that's that's the Wild Cat Rasher. Same as the Pink Rasher, just new paint. New molding, well, color molding, blue instead of black. So good, I like this. Works for me. Good for the yellow rest. I got a panda, which I do like. I like the panda. So it's black on blue on white on gold. Very nice, very panda esque. I mean, black on white. I like the eyes, how it's just black eyes, just like a panda would. There's no pupils or anything. I mean, it's just black patch, black patch, two little ears, and then a nose, button nose. I like that. Very well done. You can very, I mean, right off the bat, you can see it's a panda, so you get what they're going for. So I do like that. Works for me. Very much works for me. Again, just a remold, but I like what they're going for. Animal style brushes. I like that safari. Do, 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 do. Going out on a safari run. Do, 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 do. Animals. So yeah. Cool. Like that, you can see. Very well done, Panda. Cool. This is Tokyo Blues. I mean, pfft, Tokyo Blue. This is Tokyo... So knee. Knee? Yeah, Tokyo Knee. The Blue... The Blue Ranger. His new Safari Resha is an Eagle. Eagle Resha. I don't know what that noise was. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. What does this eagle sound like? I mean, that just sounds more like a crow. But yes, you can see gold tipped nose with the white eyes. I like the very white eyes. It's just blank. I like that fierce, like he's getting ready to pounce, swoop in. The cool. I like the orange. Pops well with it. Orange on blue always works for me, so I do like this. Coming across very well. That eagle style. Again, just repainting, nothing is remolded, so. Very nice for what it is. Road, road spins very well, as you can see, actually. Eee! Cool. Spin the Resha. Who's gonna kiss me? Who's gonna kiss Samurai Man? Oh. This guy over here. And we have another Resha here, Alligator Resha. Another Resha that matches its color. Just pink and green are the only ones that have matching colors. But yes, pink on blue, again, you can't go wrong with pink. I mean, bleh. Pink on blue. Green on blue. Can't, <clears throat> green on blue, you can't go wrong with green. So, very well done. I do like this color green. It's like a very light green, which I do like. That makes it just pop very, very well, the light color. They could have gone dark. So I like the very bright color scheme they're going for, keeping that going. I do very much like the teeth here. They got some teeth going along the side, painted in. Very cool. I like it. Again, this green aesthetic look works for me. Very much. The green Russia alligator. 
I don't know, what, what do they make? It could be like when you're wrestling an alligator, you gotta pull up their head, you could be like that, like, because that's what you gotta do to take them out, make sure they don't bite you, just pull their head up, like, whoa, get that alligator richer. Crikey, he's angry. You know, that's what you want to go for. So here we have the main Tokyo Ichigo's Resha. And he is the Safari Resha slash Lion Resha. And he is the most changed because you can see he's already got the blade tail, which is remolded really at the tip for to be the tail. Everything else is the same, but it's just colors different. And then the tips mold differently, make it more furry. So that's cool. Here we got the main base of it really remolded because where the other ones were just repainted, the whole molding of the front is different. We got ears here. These steam stacks or smoke stacks are different. This has got like a lion-esque face here. So very different. Same here. I think this is more mane looking. This looks more like a mane. So I like what they did there. Again, I love the, the dark gray with the red eyes and the blue and gold. Everything just works so well with this. I am loving this Resha. Also, the other biggest change is he's got this big old backpack here, which I do wish could have been moved a little bit forward, but they decided to put it in the back. And I think it's fine. It's not too bad, but... I just think it would look a little better if push forward, but basically it's this giant back compartment that is detachable. That's made for the secondary mode slash storage mode. So we have this bit here, the shield looking bit here, it stores very well in there, plus the feet. Then you just have it on here and to complete the look, kind of gives him claws at the back of his uh, caboose. So it makes it a little more lion-esque and I like it. This is working for me. I don't know what it is, but you got it. That's what I'm feeling right now. So very. So cool. as usual, we'll bring in the Tokyo Changer and we'll show off how the sounds work with this bad boy. Start by switching them out. Now we'll henshin into the Safari version of Tokyo Ichigo. Now we'll summon the Safari Risha. Very cool. I love all the animal sound effects. That sounded great. That was Wild Force at its best right there. The elephant and then like the toucan and weird thing. I don't know. It sounded like a, some kind of dog creature, canine in the background, a lion roaring. All oh, was just working for me. I loved it. So here I have Safari Gao in his main mech form. And I haven't applied the extra pieces yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I just want to get them all set up because we all know how to do this form. So I'm going to just grab the extra bits right here here so we have this giant chunk backpack thing kind of cool actually it looks like a separate piece that would fly in like whoosh, attaching safari gao parts combine i don't know that's what the vibe i'm getting or maybe like a tank thing like safari gao parts combine i don't know that's cool but anyways just pop off the arms you can see here they just come off this giant chunk and then this part actually has a tab thing one of those little port things so you put that there We'll start by putting in that main. This is the main feature. That main feature. But anyways, yes. There you go. That adds to the look very much. Now he's got that big old main going on, which looks great. Next up, we'll go ahead and take this backpack chunk. And it's just really for storage, just so you have somewhere to put it. But it goes up here, if I can find the holes. Somewhere. There you go. Next up, we'll take the feet slash hand slash whatever you want to call them. They just peg into the hand holes right there. But the thing is, for this side, you can either put the hand in, the claws, or you could put in the sword. So it's really up to you what you want to do, because it's either one or the other, just putting the sword. That doesn't look bad. I think that's a really cool looking sword. But I like the claws. I like the novelty of the claws. It's different from the Tokyo. So I put the claws in there, kind of give them an angle, just so it's like coming at you. Then what I do is I complete the look with the tail. Take the tail. And I just put it in storage mode, flip it around like the gun mode. And there we go. Put it in the back, now he's got a tail. So that works for me. And there we have him in Safari Gao mode, I guess.
I think, yeah, Gao O would be this mode. So that doesn't look too bad. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that face. So hopefully you can see it's not too dark, but there's his head sculpt completely changed, which I like. He doesn't have that Deca Ranger look anymore. Now he's got kind of his own definitive look. I love the chest now. It's very much bolder and bigger with that mane going on. It kind of covers up the other rest to give it its own standalone chest. And I love that the head of the, the mech, it's like a door, not knob, but door, uh, ah, I totally don't know what the name of I know what it is, but I, I know there's a name for it. I don't know the name. But you know those things like the on those old mansions, mansions, those old, old mansions, you know, they have like the, the ones that you, you grab by the handle and you swing them. One of those kind of doors. Ah, I don't know, a knocker? Is it a door knocker? Something like that. But that looks really cool. I like that. That works for me. And then just taking a look at the claws here, you can see they're not too bad. They look cool. They got some nice kind of like blasters here on the, the, ooh, he's falling over. On the back of the knuckles, I guess. That looks cool. I do wish they were a little closer in. There's kind of a gap in between them, but not too bad. This is definitely working for me. If you want to make it look a little more transformed, you can maybe do this. So that way it kind of looks like he was in a line mode. Now he tr it looks like it's a little more transformed. It's not actually part of it, but that's up to you. I think it looks cool with the claws hanging out. Just again to add to it, just to give him, make him a little more uh, different. Give him his own presence away from Tokyo. Make it feel more like this is its own robot. So cool. And here we have Tokyo with Safari Gao in his robot mode. And you can see... Even though they are based off the same mold, they both have different presences. And by that I mean they both feel like two separate figures. They don't feel like the same figure. He's got some different molding, different parts. This big chunk, this thing here, the face, everything. It's all different. Actually, let me think about it. Let me look here. He actually seems a tad taller. If you look at the heads. Just because his head's a little some squatter and his a little more taller. So yes, again, very different feeling figures. So it's cool to have them both in the line. I like them. Lots of color, not too much color, I like that going on. Good vibe. Very cool. So here I have all the components necessary to make the Safari Gao. And I'm going to go ahead and just start combining them if I can remember exactly how everything goes. I'm going to start by removing the croc or alligator and eagle head. The red, the resha, the main components. And we'll go ahead and just attach them onto the Gao. Or Safari Resha, I mean. Just put that on there. If I can remember how to do it. Yeah, there you go. And there we go. Take this. I believe this is how it goes. Let me think for a second, because <laughs> I've been wrong before. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, I want to say it goes like this. Wait. No. What you want to do, I just remembered. Take off the Safari Rush as well. So I'll click that back in. Rotate these around. Basically, we're going back into the mech mode with the body. So the main core body goes back into mech mode, but the difference is now we have the Gao head, and what you want to do is fold it down like that, again, kind of like main body, but instead of having it up like this, what you want to do is have it like this. So there's two little tabs in the back. There you go, put them in like that. And this is where we start getting in the other necessary components. We're going to start splitting this apart. Oops, and put them in there. Now what we need to do is there's these two big old holes right there, slots. Instead of having the feet there, we have this bit. So now we have two slots going downwards. So that's how this is going to work out. So what we need to do, flip them in the feet mode. Ta da Foot number one, foot number two, put the feet on this piece. And they are actually angled, which is cool. I do like it's molded in slightly at an angle, so gives them a little bit of a stance. So now we have part of it going down. Again, just like with the standard arms. Again, we're going into just the regular mech mode. Oops. We're going into standard mech mode again. There we go. Have it like that for now. And again on this side. There we go. And what you want to do is take the claws. If I can, oops, you gotta rotate the arms somewhere. Did I do it right? Like this? No, that doesn't seem right. Oh, okay, I see what I'm doing wrong. They go on the inside. There you go. So you have the claws going in the inner side so that way it fits right. There you go. Now what you want to do, we got the main core body pretty much going on. Take the main, because he does look a little incomplete, and bingo, now he looks a lot better. Lastly, take the tail, plug it into the back somewhere. Oh, okay, here we go. And there you go. The tail has a couple of notches in it, so what I do is I kind of have it like that at an angle. You could have it just straight up. Looks good. It doesn't look too bad. 
I could have it down. That didn't look too bad either, but I think having it one notch out, that does it for me. That just works. Then we have the Safari Gao in his lion mode, and that looks awesome. This is a great lion mode using all the trains. Something I wouldn't have thought of doing. Well, mostly because we didn't have this block here, so I really wouldn't have thought of doing it because I wouldn't have known how. But now you can make it, and it's very cool. I like it. As soon as I saw a picture of this, I was like, must have. I didn't even realize there was the Tokyo uh, robot when they first showed it. I just saw the line mode, and I was like, done, pre-order, and I had to have it. So this looks awesome. So here I have the Safari Gao in his lion mode, along with the Tokyo and the robot mode, just so you can see them together. They look great. I love the look of having them both here. I'm going to go and see if I can get them lined up perfectly. There you go. So now you can see that. That looks great. That is fierce right there. I am loving this. That looks cool. And here I have the Safari Gal Lion Mode along with the Gal Lion from Go Kyger. So you can see them together. Two or just two lines together. Very cool. They're very big on lines in the Sentai world. So that's nice. Two Sentai Lion Robos here. Very cool. And then here we have the Safari Gal Lion with the Mini Tira from Kyoru Sentai Zuden. What am I saying? From the Zuden Sentai Kyoujer, which is, this is a really awesome toy. If you guys are in the any Sentai series, you should definitely check out Kyoujer and definitely get this toy. This is amazing. I love this thing. This thing is so fun. So yeah, just another nice little Sentai thing. It's not a Sentai Robo. It's actually an uh, no, accessory. It's a, um, I guess a weapon. A roleplay weapon, kind of. I love it. i find the button. There we go. Wow. Wow. You do, doggy. I very much recommend this guy. He he will look great in the collection. He's the movie guy, so it's always nice to have the movie figure part of the collection. If you don't get it, again, it's not necessary, but it definitely looks awesome. It looks great on the shelf. I wish I had more shelf space so I could put him in this mode, because honestly, I think it looks better in this mode than he does in the other mode. But for now, I'll keep him in my robot mode just because it fits better. So, anyways guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel at YouTube, as well as follow me on Tumblr at Mication, as well as Twitter at Mication, and Instagram at Mechas of Iron Heart. you find all my pictures, recent purchases, who, what's coming out, who's making what, all that good stuff, and more. And anyways guys, take it easy, and until next time.